everybody and welcome to Lauren Loves Color. This is Lauren. This is part one in my series of my coloring book collection. You guys uh, let me know what you wanted to see and how you wanted to see my collection and it seemed like um, the vast majority of people like to see me rank my books. Um, I got a lot of feedback about that, about my hashtag for the top 10 CBN and that that was maybe a great way to do my coloring book collection. So I'll be doing this in parts. Um, I'm not sure how quickly I'm going to get all of them uploaded. I'm just going to kind of do them how I feel. So it might be over the course of about three months um, or so in which I plan on filming these videos. Um, but I'm going to start with Camila Angelkova. I've now collected a decent number of her books. Um, I think I have eight um, of her books. And so I wanted to show these ranking. Um, and what I want to provide is just information that um, I love all of the books that I have. So I don't rank these to say Say like that um, the ones on the bottom are my are my least favorite and the ones that are in the top of my ranking are um, you know so much better than the other ones but it's really like if I were to gravitate towards a book what am I gra going to gravitate towards first second third etc also this is just based upon what I'm feeling in the moment right now. Um, and certainly if you ask me again, probably a week, a month, or even just an hour from now, I may rank these in a different order. Um, I'm going to show my finished pages in each of these books as well. This collection is fairly new to me, so I don't have as many finished pages um, in these books, but uh, I'm happy to show you the ones that I do have. And I do absolutely love what I've been able to do in each of these books. So enough rambling. Let's go ahead and get started. So number, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, seven, eight. Yes, I have eight. So number eight, um, which is the bottom of my lift list is 50 Nighttime Mandalas. This book is on the bottom of my list solely just because if I were to choose between her miniatures books, which is what is the rest of what you'll see in the mandala books, I really enjoy coloring out of the miniature books better. I do like patterns, um, but um, this one, um, I just grab, have a tendency to grab towards the miniatures books before I do just a pattern book. So these are really, really beautiful. This I think is probably Probably my favorite mandala book um, that's non-color by number that I actually own. I got this book. This book was gifted to me and um, I did all grains on the front cover page for my birthday. I am, um, my birthday is in May and so of course the birthstone for May is emerald. So I completed this page in May and then I just did this one in July and these um, I think on this one too, I just did a lot of alcohol marker and gel pen. So let me see if I can just kind of get that to shine. And then I did this one just last month. So you will have just seen this in my completed pages. And that is all that I have completed in this book, but you'll see it's just a wide variety of different mandalas. I love just the size of the shapes in the mandalas. They're perfect for alcohol markers. And I love the black background because I feel like the black just makes it pop. The one thing I don't like about this book, and it's not the fault of the book itself, but it's just that mine has kind of curled um, from the black pages. So I've been trying to get them to uncurl and I feel like it's gotten a little bit better, but um, it still is a little bit um, curly whirly with the black background. So yeah, so that gives you an idea of some of them in, um, on the back of the book. I think Camila Angelkova is just a fantastic mandala artist. Um, she's a lot of different mandala books and I absolutely love this nighttime book. I think it looks great. Next on my list um, are the, um, it's going to really be the miniatures books. This is 50 Spring Miniatures. This one was also a gift to me. I had a little bit of a boo-boo with the title page, um, if you guys may remember. And so this is the one page that I've done out of here. I ended up um, not liking the page so much that I cut it out and then put it here. Um, put some washi tape background to try, try to kind of save it. That's the only page that I've actually done in this book. Um, it was kind of past spring and already starting to be um, look like summer when I got my book. So I haven't done anything else out of here. And I absolutely love, I mean, her miniatures books are all really great. Um, this one obviously is going to have a lot of florals just because of spring. And while I love coloring flowers and things like that too, I love some of her books with characters just a little bit more. Um, so, but still really, really beautiful and fun. Oh, that's really cute with the kitten reaching into the pond to fish. That's really cute. These books are just so great. So um, that is 50 Spring Miniatures. Seven, six is 50 Autumn Miniatures. And so I do love fall, but um, I guess I'm probably not as big into fall as some people are. Um, I did the um, title page again, just in this one. I do really love how this turned out. This one is 
gorgeous. Um, I absolutely love how this one, um, how this one looks. And I think that's the only one that I've colored in here. Now it's getting really close to autumn. And so I really want to color some out of here. There's some really fun ones like the pumpkin. The little scarecrows are cute. Yeah, she's got a lot of recurring animals that go between her different books as well. Really cute. Really, really cute. I love little hedgehogs. Campfire. There's some really cute ones in here. See, I already feel like I would change <laughs> my order. This one and the next one were really tough for me. Oh, these are cute. These are cute. I You could definitely do some really, really fun colors um, in this book as well. So this is 50 Autumn Miniatures. And the one thing about Camellia's books as well is just that they are so affordable. They're $4.99 for um, the book, and which I just think is absolutely amazing. Next is 50 Summer Miniatures. I really love the summer season. I don't know why, but I love to color the summer season. And so I have done this one. This is when I first got my Ohuhu pastel markers, and I used them in this book. And it kind of looks very springtime with the colors that I chose but um I don't care I think it looks fine and then I did this one which was my shading with crayons tutorial so a lot of you guys saw that as well but I really love to color summertime stuff like I love the little bugs are really cute and I love like the beach and seaside scenes um in this one are really cute and the seashells little gecko guy just really, really fun for summer. I just, I, summer is not my favorite, um, season personally, because it is, um, hot <laughs> as heck. And I really don't like water very much, but, um, oh, like I love that page. I love that page. I love all the stuff that's like food related and the little bugs and insects and stuff are really cute. Um, so, but, um, yeah, but I like coloring water and I like coloring beach scenes and summer scenes and things like that. So that's 50 summer miniatures. Next is going to be 50 winter miniatures. And so I really do love the season of winter. It's getting close to Christmas time. I believe I've only colored the front page in here as well. This is the page that I colored with this cute little sleeping bear. And I really love how that turned out. So that looks really nice. And of course, like I love penguins. Penguins are my absolute favorite animal. And so I'm so excited to see some penguin pages in here, snowflakes and snow. Um, I love just the colors and the just happiness that Christmas brings. And there's a lot of really, really cute pictures in here. A lot of really cute things you can do, like little squirrel skiing. It's so cute. So yeah, there's just a lot of fun winter things in here and I love coloring like winter and Christmas pages, gingerbread people. I mean, just really, really cute. Really, really cute. Oh, the fireworks. It's almost like New Year's. That's really cute. So yeah, 50 winter miniatures. And then next you'll see the ones that made my top um, three really are the ones that are more of her non-seasonal related ones. Um, and I think I like that too because I don't feel like I have to just stick within the season to actually color it. Um, so 50 Jungle Miniatures is the newest one for me. And um, this one I've colored a few pages out of. I've done this one, my little Lisa Frank inspired tiger page. I have done this one with the froggies. I think I did all of these in July. This book just came out. And then I have done, I know I did another one. Yeah, these sloths here. This was like a quadruple buddy color situation. Take that off. Um, and I'm actually going to be doing a buddy color with Michaela um, from Michaela Renee. I'm going to be doing this hippo probably after I finish filming this video. Um, but I love just the animals in this book. There's a lot more animals and stuff rather than just like floral scenes, which I really appreciate. Um, I like her, I like her animal drawings probably more than just the, um, like this and stuff. These can be really, really cool. Um, like I did the one in summer and I really liked it. Um, but I like the ones with the actual characters in them better. I will say with the exception of this one, I really love this one for some reason. I really wanted to do this one. Um, I really love, love that one. I love some that have just kind of the larger spaces and stuff, but like little monkeys and stuff are so cute. Um, yeah, absolutely love this book. Um, 50 Jungle Miniatures. This is her newest release. 
um, in the miniature series. Next is 50 Romantic Miniatures. This is number two for me. I really love this one. Um, I've done a couple of pages in this one. Um, this is my book belongs to page. This is actually the very, very first miniatures page I ever colored um, was actually this one. And um, it was the first time I'd really used... Um, Prismacolor uh, colored pencil to like try shading and things like that. So this one's probably the most plain out of all of the ones that I've done, but I really, really like how it turned out. Um, so I did that one and then I've also done this one and I love this. I love coloring food. Like I absolutely love coloring food. I just added a whole bunch of um, books to my wish list that are like food related and themed um, because I really, really like and enjoy coloring food. So I actually used a um, photo of a strawberry che uh, strawberry shortcake um, and kind of copied some of the colors and things that I saw in there for this. But I just think the images in here are all around love and romance and are all really, really cute. Again, I mean, you could say this is seasonal because of Valentine's, but I mean, love shouldn't be seasonal. Love should be all year round. Yeah, those donuts and chocolates I really want to do. Just really, really sweet, sweet, sweet images. And uh, another food page I want to do. Love that. Dolphins. So sweet. Little beehive. So, so cute. Love this 50 romantic miniatures. And my absolute number one that I absolutely love are 50 ocean miniatures. This one, again, I don't like underwater. Like I would never scuba dive. I would never um, do these things, but I um, absolutely love this book. And because of this, because I feel like you can use so many different um, bright and bold colors. Like I just feel like the ocean calls for it. Um, so I've done this one. Um, and I love the effect that I did here. I used some Distress Inks and a stencil here, but then I also um, took my Jelly Roll, my clear Jelly Roll, and added like some, um, to make it look wet, to make it look like drops of water. And I just love how that effect looks. Um, this was, this page was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. This is kind of wacky colors for me. Um, so I really love that one. I've done a few in here. This is one that I just finished with a Betty Color with Kate from Kate's Coloring Haven. So I did this jellyfish. There's lots and lots of glitter on this one. This one was really fun. And then I've done this one and this was a Betty Color too. Let me take all these little sticky notes out while I'm thinking about it. This is a Betty Color with Amanda Downey. And of course I had to do the ones with the penguins because you know me, I love penguins. So, um, but I absolutely love the images in this book. I think they're so cute and they feel larger. Like the, it feels larger and some of the line work seems darker in some of these like more recent ones that she's done. And so it makes it easier to color. Um, so I really appreciate it. I think she's done a great job. So that is it for my Camila Angelkova, um, ranking my Camila Angelkova books. I hope you really enjoyed, um, enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see the rest of my collection in this way. Um, I think this is just kind of a fun and unique way to do my um, collection and to kind of show you what I like. And um, I will leave links in the description box below for all of these books. I hope you have a great rest of the week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!